BMW N47 Engine turning, cranking Chain not snapped We had a look Camshafts turning Mileage is 160,000 It's not been well maintained First objective, engine out And see why there is no compression can start job I basically half past yeah. I think I can take it out in one and a half current filter Recently changed this one. We disconnected intercooler pipes, positive cable, airbox. Next is wiring loom, drain the water, and disconnect these lines. Look at this bolt. That's not tight, cross thread. The gun is not even impacting. In this place, BMW done good. Easy to disconnect. Now the gearbox. Bell housing. And it's ready to come off. How oily is bolt? It's leaking from the back, from rocker cover. This is very dangerous. It can catch fire straight on DPF. Top bolt is missing. For somebody was too hard to put back. Mambo. Chuvaku stalled. Gearbox ready to take off. I just make a little gap and the oil start going out. Rocker cover is leaking from this corner and everything goes on DPF, not looking good. One hour, ten minutes. <laughs> You're so slow. <laughs> what we got? Bad leak from rocker cover. It needs whole rocker cover replacing, not just gasket. Surface is not flat, overheated, fully is cracked. From outside, nothing else. Let's see turbo. Turbo bad. Standard problem as well. Third N47 in the row. Again, turbo and chain. What the fuck? Clutch bolts different. Allen key 6 mil. Mm -hmm. well, this one is E something. E. Then again, Allen keys. <coughs> clutch is okay. Was a self-adjusting clutch. Need to reset to zero. It's turning like it's no compression. See, from this corner, all the soil as well going on the clutch. Clutch starts slipping, burning. This is our DPF pressure different sensor is melted because it was previously blocked too much heat in the exhaust that's why turbo failed that's why it's been cut out as you see welding is not original it's full of oil it's a new starter motor <laughs> somebody was very optimistic and thinking that it's a starter motor problem when you drive a BMW, you shouldn't be optimistic. You should be prepared for big bills. Napa starter motor. This is number one. This is number two. Again, number three. Removed with slide hammer. First we try with small one. It 
will be tested and cleaned. To all master techs of BMW, what's the easy way to unclip this temperature sensor? Yeah. <laughs> this is the flaps from the manifold which went to the valves and that's why it's not closing now and running without compression all eight missing it's a serious damage another flap three flaps four is very deep i think you reached the valve by bmw you save money on the diesel. <laughs> you know what car got metal flaps? Mercedes. You will never find flaps inside the port. Four valves probably damaged, four valves survived. I'm turning the crankshaft as I'm skipping teeth. Very stretched, the chain. It's just jumping, see? It's not seized. It's just jumping, the bottom. Parts and labor, roughly it's reaching 3,000 pounds. Chain kit, labor job, turbo, reconditioning, pulley, new rocker cover, deleting swerve flaps, oil filters, Cool and some gaskets like usual. Three grand, yeah. Have a good day. Engine survived. Checking for leak. This one is closed now. So these two have got bent down. This is a homemade tool. Shove that in the injector hole. Fill it with air. It's like a leak down test. Yeah. You can hear. When the lobes are up, the valves are shut, and you can hear it leaking. Our job today, remove the turbo and remove the head to rebuild it. Wet, wet, slightly dry. So it's been eating oil. They worn deep. I oh, don't no, see that much stretch. Took off the chain without removing the sprocket. Madness. See the cam for a wear. And see the chain for a stretch. You can polish that. Cracked. Valve and piston get hit because of timing jumped. Of cam carrier both stretched and cracked. How much grease? You know how to test them? This one's working. Snapped. Two of them snapped. We need to drill it. So we can check the valves for leak now. Liquid straight away, yeah? Plenty. This one's blowing. And only this one no leak. 13 out of 16 leaking. Big possibility these two are bent. Because they completely went dry. Chain on the left looks like it's 30 and ready to settle down. The head has been done. The surface has been cleaned as well. It's fitting new head gaskets. Need to loop this place, not too much, slightly. Now, we need to start tightening. New filter.
So before fitting new top ends, they must be spongy. Oven puts it in the vise. I prefer with a needle. Two dots. On this side there must be one dot. But this one dot aligns with two like this. Little bit oil, no starvation, medication. We rebuilt this turbo with new fits. Yeah, see, tracks. It's a big tracks. It should not need this, but sometimes they leak. It's better to use it. Yes, they would take off some, fit the chains, three of them. Now it's time to torque all these bolts and it's ready to fit back the covers. Almost nothing, that's how it should be. I like to apply C1, just very very thin layer under the cover gasket because they like to leak even if you fit the new one Switch cable Engine it sits on its mount, it's in. Get this German on the road. Oil catching this clutch dust. And this is what happens. Sometimes boss asks us where the brake leaner goes. So. Clean the bottom now. Let's see. It should start now. This job was more expensive than a car. Check our website for t-shirts. Stay sharp.